Kunta Kinte, a rebel slave who refused to take the name his captors gave him, has been immortalized in both print and on screen in Roots. The story of his origin put the Gambia on the map of historical tourism. But the island where he and tens of thousands lived through chains and branding before being taken away forever is under threat. Sea erosion and neglect are the main challenges. Before, the island was very big, six times bigger than this. Today, six times smaller, but because of the erosion. Historians warn that without urgent action, 550 years of history could be lost. The new government is under pressure to preserve the country's history for the next generation and tourists. We were under a lot of pressure you know, to conform you know, to how he interpreted, how he wanted to interpret you know, Gambian history. And, and, and our resistance to that, uh, you know, I mean, let you know, the island to suffer uh, you know, from lack of attention and from lack of funding, yeah, particularly, I mean, like for conservation exercise. A UN World Heritage Site, Kinte Island is succumbing to salty waves and high winds. Historians now hope that the two decades of neglect under Yahya Jami is a thing of the past. Tourism numbers were badly hit last year when former President Yahya Jami refused to vacate office after losing the election. The UN has stepped in and is dispatching a team to assess the site's condition amidst calls to the international community to fund its restoration. There has been renewed interest in the island and Kinta's story because of the American series Roots and rapper Kendrick Lamar's hit, King Kunte. I think it's very important because we need to know about our history. That is the only way we can truly understand and fully realize our potential. While in the end Kunte had his leg cut off for his escape attempts, Historians here hope that their dream to restore the island will not be cut to pieces. Beryl Oro for CGTN.